What's up guys and girls, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you just a short overview of iPhone OS 3.0 currently running on the iPhone 3G. This is a free upgrade for all iPhone owners, original iPhone and 3G, and a $9.99 upgrade for iPod Touch owners. So let's get right into it and show you the highlights of the device, and the highlights of the operating system particularly. The first thing that I want to show you is the landscape keyboard, which for me is just a dramatic update. I was always a little bit inaccurate with the portrait keyboard, but right now there is a landscape keyboard available through all applications. This makes typing so much easier and surprisingly more accurate. And while we're talking about typing in text, one of the highlights of OS 3.0 in addition to this keyboard is now cut, copy, and paste. So let me show you how that works. Let's say I want to copy that bunch of gibberish I just typed. If I hold it down and let go, I'll get a select, select all, or paste button. So right now we'll hit select. And I get these two blue bars and I can move it all along. And you see the magnifying glass shows me what I'm highlighting. So let's say I want to highlight it all. Now I've got cut, copy, and paste. So right now we will copy it. And let's say I wanted to paste that into a new text message. So I'll go ahead and open up my messaging application. I'm going to put my hand right over the top here and I'm going to open up a new one. There we go. And let's say I want to paste that right in. So I'll go to text, let go, and I have that paste button. I hit paste, and there it is. And that cut, copy, and paste will really work on any text on the phone. It'll work on text in email, it'll work on text in SMS, it'll work on text in your browser. Really, anywhere you have a text, you now can cut, copy, and paste. And Apple did a really good job implementing this throughout. So while I'm here on the SMS screen, I should say that OS 3.0 is very capable of MMS. If you're watching this in a country other than the US, you will be able to send MMSs right now, which are multimedia messaging, so that's video messaging or picture messaging. But right now, at t does not support that, so unfortunately, I can't show you. Another thing I can't show you that OS 3.0 supports is tethering, meaning using your phone as a modem, once again, because at t is not supporting it. But they will later on in the summer, and if you're in another country using the iPhone 3G, uh, or soon to be the iPhone 3GS, you can already take advantage of the tethering. So I'll go back to the home screen here, and it looks very similar to really all the other home screens you're familiar with. But there is a big difference. If I scroll that over to the right, I now have Universal Search, and you can see I was playing along here. So let's show you what Universal Search does. Essentially, this will search for contacts, calendar, iTunes. Think of it as Spotlight for your iPhone. So let's say I want to look up contact information. Let's say I want to look up Brandon Miniman. So as I start typing, you'll see Brandon show up, and I get all of Brandon's information right there. I get his name, and I keep going anything with B. I've got some emails from Priceline, just because it's got that BR in it. And it really does make it nice and easy for searching. Go ahead and hit close, and it'll go right back to it. And if you want to launch it from another screen, hit the home button again, and it'll pull it up. When you're there, you want to get rid of it, push the home button, and it's gone. So OS 3.0 also introduced some new built-in applications, namely voice memos. And voice memos is really simple. You can probably tell what it does just by looking at it. It records your voice. So go ahead and hit record. You start talking. Let you know you're recording. When you're done recording, you push stop. And you can view all of your recordings. It really is pretty simple and relatively straightforward. And as I showed earlier, there is a landscape keyboard, but really all the native iPhone apps and the ones that come bundled now support landscape. And that's highlighted by, let's say, the new stocks application. So here are a few stocks that I have, and on the old iPhone, it was just pretty static. When you turned it landscape, nothing happened. But now, let me show you what happens. Turn it landscape, and you've got your chart for your equity. You can go ahead and scroll through, and you can pretty much view your portfolio straight through here. The landscape actually is very handy. And as you follow the chart, you'll see it'll tell you what the price was and the corresponding day right there. Kind of neat. So we will go back to the home screen. There are a lot of tweaks to OS 3.0 that I can show you, but I really want to keep this sort of a short highlight 
of what OS 3.0 can do. When the iPhone 3GS launches, and by the time you're watching this, it may have already launched, there's gonna be a lot of new functionality built in, such as built-in compass, and a few other features that the iPhone 3G will not have. But, since this is a free upgrade, it is quite nice to be able to have the ability to do all of these little things. Uh, one other thing that I should mention, which I'm not gonna demonstrate here, is you now have the ability to download TV shows and movies right on your phone via, I will show you, I'll show you right there via iTunes on the device. You can see I just have a ton of applications here. And that again is one of the nice things about the iPhone 3G. And really one of the final features that I wanna talk about is the YouTube application. You now have the ability to sign in and comment on YouTube videos, which is fantastic. You can also rate them one, two, three, four, or five stars. Really is just a nice added feature. I'll show you what that looks like real quickly. I don't believe I'm signed in on my iPhone, but if you go to more, you have the ability to sign in. So my video is in my history, I am signed in. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at one of the most viewed videos real quick. And we'll just pretend that we finished watching it. We'll hit end. And now you get a description, more videos by that particular producer. You get all the comments. And if you hit back again, you're right back to your home screen that you saw previously with older versions of the software. Overall, I've been beta testing 3.0 for a couple months now, and it's been great. I've seen it get better and better with each iteration of the beta software. And finally, with the gold release, it really seems to be a very solid operating system and uh, one that I definitely recommend you all get downloading. If you want to download it, plug your iPod Touch or iPhone into your computer, go to iTunes and hit update and you'll be good to go. And one thing I also want to mention, because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on it, is what that little icon is right there. And that just indicates call forwarding, that's all. Anyway, I just wanted to give a short overview of iPhone OS 3.0. Hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.